All right, so what is personal science and why should I care? Well, what is science, right? Science is a systematic investigation of reality, right? Making sense of all the crazy stuff that we see going on around us, right? And what is a scientist? A scientist is a person that views themselves as one of these guys that makes sense of the world around them, and their friends view themselves as one of those guys that makes sense of the world around them, okay? So what is a personal scientist? A personal scientist is someone that uses the same technology, scientific method, and level of rigor, level of systematicity that we always expect from science, right? But they apply all those tools, methodologies, quantifications, statistical analyses, they apply that to their own personal cognitive system, figuring out what makes them tick, right? That's what a personal scientist is. And this activity looks very different than normal science, right? This can be doing an artwork, this can be writing a novel, this can be doing all kinds of things, right? But not just that, because what we're going to help you do in the personal science is ask you questions, right? We're going to help you understand what does it mean to apply the scientific method to your own personal life, right? How can you make hypotheses about who you are and, and how you like to do things and, and, and what's going to make you happy and, and what's going to make you the most money, right? How can you make those hypotheses, record them through experiments, right, through human interaction, to experimental human interactions to see what's getting you the results you want, right? What's the best theory about how you should live your life? How can we help you have more confidence in that theory? A lower p-value, lower you know, higher statistical significance. How can we help you ensure that this is the right decision in your life? You know, instead of just chit-chatting with five or ten people, do that. Plug it into our program. Get a little scientific analysis, a little personal scientific analysis, given all the variables you told us about yourself. We'll do that with you, right? And that's because us as scientists, we've been a little arrogant, right? We've kept all these methods for ourselves in our little ivory tower, and we've forgotten that we're here to serve the humans, all of the humans, right? Just to try to help you guys live better lives, right? And so as scientists, we kind of got scared of this thing called consciousness and, and free will and, and, and love and all those things, right? The things that are the real juicy human things and creativity, all this stuff. We don't know anything about that stuff. We can't even define creativity. Nobody's even really attempted a definition of love. There's no, no such thing as consciousness, according to the biologist, and half the other people think we don't have free will. So science, instead of tackling these issues of you know, our personal subjective experience, has just done away with them. And those are the original issues that would have been the most helpful for those scientists to figure out and tell these humans how it works. Right? Because if the scientists are there to try to help the people make sense of the world, then, yeah, I mean, our own psychology is, like, one of the most critical things because that's related to learning and to, to, to acquiring new skills and to becoming way more effective in this world, right? So now science and scientists have admitted and have realized our error and have realized that universities might not have been the best idea because it's not cool to charge people hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn some of this stuff that's quote-unquote science but really just a method of thinking, right? You can teach anybody this method of thinking and then they can explore it themselves in their own life with their own personal science, right? So now we're turning everybody in society into a personal scientist so that they can think properly, right? Think powerfully so that you can use that brain to your advantage. Lift the heavy metal, you know, li do the heavy lifting, you know, but don't think that it's going to be hard, man, because look, scientists aren't smart, right? They might seem smart because they got all these tools and technologies at their disposal and they know how to think right. They know how to think th using the scientific method and rationality, but they're not special. They're not different than you. You're going to be a fucking, you're going to be a scientist. You're going to apply the personal science to your own life. and You're going to be so much happier than the scientist, scientist anyway. So it'll be awesome. Don't worry.